18 plus adults only and therefore may contain explicit or technical language, realistic and anatomically correct naked dolls or sculptures, dangerous customization techniques, including sharp blades, power tools, or hot equipment, and mature discussions of politics, sociology, and philosophy. Please do not watch this video unless you are 18 years of age or older. Hello, this is C. Hedgehog, and you're here again on my channel, Justin Sober Ernest, and this is the uh, totally inappropriate, fully 18-plus uh, doll review video. Not what you're thinking, uh, something, something else. Um, so, last virtual doll convention, why no dollies? And this isn't her fault, but I do want to give her credit where credit is due. Asked me to do a review on all of my dolls that had, I think she technically said removable penises, but I'm including jointed penises as well. Um, so we'll start with my collection. Um, it's not all of them because some of them are attached. Um, but this is what you come across in the ball jointed doll hobby. So I've got, I've got this one for my spirit doll, Herculean. I have this one for my Dolshi 28M con body. I have this one for my Dolshi Mystic body. And I've got this one for my ring doll. I think I showed them to you roughly in order of size, but um, fuck. You get an idea. So these are my dolly penises, the ones that are currently unused. Um, and one that should be used but I can't do anything about it. So um, first one, uh, we're gonna talk about this one. So this is the second dolly penis it dot. This is the second, uh, fuck. Oh! This is the second uh, spirit doll Herculean penis. I will show you the comparison. Um, dramatically, like, like whole different person. Uh, these are dramatically different. So there's, you know, one that's just relaxed and the other one. Um, they're held on via a peg, a combination of a peg system and a magnet. And honestly, um, uh, honestly, um, this is my preferred method of attachment if you don't want them posable. Um, I highly recommend looking for, if this is something that you want, um, I highly recommend looking for ones where there is a combination of a pig and a magnet because otherwise they're just, they're just not sturdy enough. They don't stay on. Um, and so this is right, most sturdy, like it's not going anywhere. It can like move from side to side a little, but Maybe you want that. Uh, there's like a tailoring thing about like which leg you want. Y yeah, about which leg you want it to go down. Um, so maybe you want it to move, I don't know. Um, I think an important part is that like, right, like it doesn't stick down very far from the perineum um, because if it does, then it's gonna show in the pants. So you want to remove it when the doll wears pants, or you want it to be fairly low profile. Um, considerations. So my approach has been that they either wear the lowest profile of the penises normally, um, or they wear, and this is where doll she comes in. Doll she has like a little cup. Some dolls I think have like a leaf. It just kind of varies, um, but this is the Dolce Khan body. So he's got a little, a little cup. I personally do not like this as an option, mostly because Dolce's approach, oh fuck, there goes the hat. I don't know if you can see, um, it's strung. And I don't like them when they're strong. Um, it's really annoying. Uh, basically, all it means is it's it's hard to change them out without unstringing the doll. And um, yeah, you have to deal with like hooks and elastic. Um, another annoying thing is here's the penis that goes with this. You have to string it. So like there's no switching out of the dolly penises. Like you have to commit 
Um, so if that's a concern, I mean, it, it's not a huge deal for me because this is my commit. Uh, my commit is Ken, Kendall. Um, but, you know, it's a consideration. This is the other doll um, that has the Dolshi set up. This is the Dolshi Mystic. Um, Dolshi Mystic is, I don't know, it's considered an 18M and the other one's 24M. It's, it's also, oh, this one's looser, strong. See, he's got like a little hook. It's a little, like, cloaca or something that he's got going there. Um, this is the penis that goes with it. As you can see, uh, lots of change going on from 18 to 24. Oh dear. Um, but anyway, so Dolce can do subtle, maybe. Um, again, it's, it's, you have to string it. So like I'd have to untie the little elastic knot there, string this on and then, which is kind of dumb, but I've committed to the candle body. Um, so there's that. Last, and even though I made it sound like it was my, like the doll she was my least favorite, this is actually my least favorite. Um, so this is my Popo doll body. Popo doll has a magnetic penis, um, but it is the shittiest magnet I've ever seen in my entire life. So unless you know firsthand that your doll artist gives a fuck about decent magnets, do not do a solely magnetic penis. Um, unlike spirit doll that has a little peg and the magnet. Um, this one is just a ball magnet and this is the hole it's meant to stick in and it kind of does but like oh no it escaped um, which is kind of a problem with pets because I'm like slightly concerned that my cats will eat this and then I have to go into the vet and like explain what this is um, and also that it's magnetic like I don't need my vet to have questions about um, both my habits and my sanity. Um, this is perhaps the most, I don't know, reasonable of the magnetic doll penises. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna keep this on the table away from the cats. Least favorite. The final one is ring doll. Ring doll is also strong. And it does show the advantages of I guess this is actually the smallest. Um, but anyway, and, and also, um, this one is uh, not circumcised. Um, but, lost my train of thought. Right, so, this one is strong. There is no hook, which makes it even worse, in my opinion, than the Dolce one, because you can't even switch it out without totally unstringing the doll. Like, the Dolce like make gives you the illusion that you might be able to unstring unstring the penis without unstringing the doll. This one is there, there's no there's no illusion. Um, but the advantage is that right it can be relaxed or, or excited. Um, and it also has like a little divot, like a not human divot, so that it stays flat in the pants. Um, so like of the movable doll penises, this one's probably lowest profile. So. I think, again, magnetic is my preference with a peg. And then if you want to like rotate it like on the peg or have multiple dolly penises, so that's like the spirit doll approach, right? Like they don't want you to have to like relax it and then excite it or whatever. Like you have multiple penises and a lot of companies do do that. The one I'm thinking of is Doll Family A. Um, uh, they took the snake metaphor literally um, it's, it's, it's quite, uh, concerning. Um, but creativity, points for creativity. Um, yeah, so that's an option. The other option is the penis serves dual duty, um, both relaxed and excited. Um, but again, I, I like the ability of being able to remove them and like have the doll actually wear pants. Um, the, this, so the Dolce approach is actually in response to something that happened to Dolce with the last doll, he, the last male body he released, the 28M, um, that does not have a removable penis. Um, and 
like very distinctly. I think this that body is like roughly EID size, um, but it can't wear EID pants, or rather it can, um, but it's obscene. So I think like there is something to be said about a low profile option uh, because you want your doll to be wear, able to, unless you sew for your doll like me, you want to be able to wear like stock size pants and like not be concerned about scarring the children or yeah so ideal is magnetic with a little post in my opinion um least ideal is the stupid ball with the shitty magnet unless like i don't know your doll company sculptor has stated their um like deep love and commitment to like neodymium and 52 magnets um and like you know they want the penis to like stick to a metal wall and to like not be able to come off like then that's fine it's just that like and this is like another irritating part so like right i could get this magnet out and i could replace it if it were shitty this magnet has been cast into the penis like there is no there's no access so i would have to like cut into the penis to access the magnet and then put it back together which i'm not going to do i think what i'm actually going to do with this one honestly is like the ring doll body where it's like, you know, relaxed. I'm literally just gonna put, I'm gonna put some glue here. I'm gonna put some glue on the pelvis and we're gonna glue them together and they're just gonna stay. It's gonna be a water soluble glue so that I can like remove it if I want. Honestly, it's more for, I don't know, cause people get upset when you permanently do permanent things to dolls. Um, so if, unless I'm like attached to the aspect of it that makes it permanent, then I generally don't do it. Um, so yeah, this is my penis review. I hope that you appreciated it. Um, I hope you also appreciate knowing that there is now like a little, a little box in my doll cabinet that is just full of, of doll penises. Um, what weird collections do you have as a doll collector? Um, I'm really, really interested in uh, to know, do you have a similar collection? Um, can we trade them like trading cards? Uh, what, how have you lost your mind over this um, self-isolation period? Um, bye.